while the audio is on. Pencil sharpener. Okay, we're here live. We have a picture. All right. Hey, everybody. Good morning, friends. Friends, comrades. How are we doing today? <clears throat> How are we doing today? <sighs> we are still waiting for everybody to show up. Now, here we go. <coughs> we have lots of hellos and highs. Um, PJ says, good morning. How are we both? We're good, thank you. How are you? Gail has arrived. Hey, Gail. Wacky watercolor Wednesday. Donna, I love your posting. Oh, wow, it just kind of went. Hold on. Um, new content every day. You're doing great. Oh, Gail, thank you so much. That means so much. You have no idea. It is a lot of work. Oh, Autumn says, so proud of your journal upload. Thank you. You guys, thanks. And Bethany has arrived. How are we doing? I don't know who they are, but they look gorgeous. A god me is jealous. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Hello from Ireland. Rebecca got the notification in time. Yay. Hello. Canned Water Productions says, hi, I'm here for once. Well, hello, we're glad you're here. Welcome. Um, Marguerite says, hello from beautiful British Columbia, Canada, dark, clear skies. Oh, it's one of those gloomy days, huh? It's just as dark, clear skies. So maybe it's just not, the sun's not up yet there. I don't know. I don't know if it's dark, but mm. it's also clear. That is, that's <coughs> yeah. a conundrum. Marguerite, we're going to need a little more. Uh, um, Gail says, yes, T TLC, I'm so happy they topped the list. Yes, it was close, though. This was a razor, like, like razor like thin margins. A couple hundred. Yeah. Get your razor thin margins today. Good morning. Hello, kitty lover. Hello. We have a hello from the Czech Republic. Rivers Doctor's here for the second live. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Good morning from India and Nebraska. And we have a Buenos Dias from Santiago. Buenos Dias. This is my first live since the summer. This is wow. Holy Rat. That's a long time. We're glad you're back. Hi, Scott from England. Hello. Love seeing you guys live. You're so cute. Hello from Newcastle, England. Oh, you guys are making me want to travel. Edited for the next update for Dragon Painted. <laughs> <laughs> Unusual, really, something likes the dragon. That's cute. Hitomi says, Good morning. Enjoying both of you, a power couple. Oh, you're so oh, sweet. Thanks. That is the last thing we're trying to be. Power, not so much. I don't know. I'm 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 fading fast this morning, guys. I had uh, something last night for dinner that I shouldn't have, so my my sinus infection is uh, a little nasty this morning. It's being unhappy. Oh, the sun is still in bed. Indigo, oh, really? indigo, and pains gray. Says Marguerite. Wow, oh, God, that must be a beautiful. You know what? I, I was never a sunrise person, but that sounds gorgeous, doesn't it? Does, it? Yeah. Oh man. So, I thought I would, um, since it was um, TLC, I'm doing Lisa Left Eye Lopez. So, I'm doing her left eye instead of the right. So, <laughs> I thought it would be kind of fun to do the other eye for her. I thought that was a good thing this morning. I Pencil sharpener. Um, Leon says, good morning, Scott and Donna. I have completed 31 days of portraits. I used a bunch of different mediums and had so much fun practicing faces. That is wonderful. I love hearing Congratulations. that. Congratulations. I love that. That's a huge accomplishment. But you want to know the best, the best line? I had so much fun practicing faces. Oh, That's yeah. the best part, right? You're having fun. The winds in England have been 80 miles an hour. It's really bad, but I'm happy I'm here for your live. Wow. Oh, no. 
Isn't that the best day to stay at home with a nice fire in the fireplace and a nice cup of tea and call in sick for work? I'm sorry, it's too windy, I can't go to work. This is, this is me daydreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Hello from Italy. Hello. Hello from Pakistan. I love your guys' art. Scott is my biggest inspiration. Hello, thank you. <laughs> this person says, hello from the safety of my bed. Um, that I get is that. a good place to be. I get that. It was so. It is so cold here. It was 28 this morning when we woke up. It is just cold, man. Winter has hit. Hi from Romania. Let's hello. see. And Nehru says, good morning. Almost fully over my cold. Yay, good for That's you. That's good. How is it in the Hobbit hole? Toasty. Always warm. Yeah. Donna, your posting has helped with my journaling. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. For those of you who don't know, Donna oh. is journaling now uh, on her YouTube channel. So uh, yeah. a lot of people have asked her to start posting, and she decided for the beginning of the year she was going to kind of push herself out of her comfort zone. Way. And way out of the comfort zone. Make videos. And so she's going to just journal every day. And you guys can follow along if you want to. Everybody's been saying how hard it is to start a journal and keep a journal. So we're doing um, a quote a day. The goal is a quote a day. Don't, don't hold me to that if I don't do a quote a day or, or something. You know, we miss one or two. Um, but that's the goal. And you guys have been super, super wonderful. So thank you for that. How many people are here right now? 255. Okay. So I have a request for all 255 of you. So <clears throat> Donna needs to uh, no, get 300 hours of viewing on her uh, channel to get verified. And... Honey... It's fine. I, I'm just saying, I can ask, right? If she has a, like a 56 minute live, like it's a live with Bethany's part two. And if anybody just wants to just sometime today, just pop it on to your computer and let it play through while you're off doing something else, <laughs> that would help her get to that 300 hours. Um, but yeah. Please don't feel like you have to do anything. No, of, of this. course, nobody feels please. like they have to. Please don't. Just <laughs> mentioning it. I know, but I feel. I don't. I'm not. I don't want. To, uh, anyway. We are all anyway. friends here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Um, I'm also going to say that um, this is a enormous shout out to my husband who has been doing content for. Daily for the last three years. Um, I did not realize how difficult it was to put all of this together. And I am not creating something on a piece of paper from nothing. I am copying a quote into a book. And um, he's amazing. I, I, I have a completely new um, respect for how hard he has worked the last three years. Because let me tell you that um, Adobe... Premiere is not. Yeah, Donna's learning to edit and everything. I'm, I'm editing my own videos. And full disclosure, he has helped me the last two days because he's so good at it. But it is like, wow. Learning something new and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone is, um, it's hard. It's very hard. <laughs> it's fun. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying it, which I didn't think I would. Um, <laughs> I was more nervous than anything, but um, let's see. Moving on. Um, I Rose Tea Shop says, hey from Nashville, first stream I'm catching in quite a while. Hello. Hello there, friend. Hello, neighbor. Um, okay, you talked about who we're drawing today. All right. Oh, I think Gail, that looks Gail says, not a big ask at all, Scott. I'm happy to do that, Donna. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. Congrats. I am pushing myself this year to start a YouTube channel for my art, says Leon. Good for oh, that's you. Great. That's great. That's awesome. Come back and tell us what it is and we will join up. How do you get your captions? There is a caption creator. It does closed captioning in Adobe Premiere. 
but you have to make sure that you have to go through and make sure the words are the same as the words that you're saying. It generates it. It auto generates it, but you got to yeah. double check it. You do. You have to check because, like, if you looked at the one with, I, I don't think it was Snoop. I think it was the day before, but I said '90s and it said '19. Oh no, it was. No, it was Snoop. No, uh, it was Snoop was number. It? Yeah, because this is number twenty. Yeah. So, yeah, and so it came out as '19. Yeah. And so I missed you, it. <laughs> yeah, you've been um, you've been helping a lot, so. All right. Hey, think... Scott, I'm neurodivergent, and your video about noise and overstimulation really helped me to explain to my parents how it feels. Thank you. Oh, that's great. That's Gabby so Doodles. It, it, yeah, it, it, um, no one understood it until I made the mm -mm. video in my family. Mm -mm. Not even your, not your mom, no, but, but how, how, how can somebody else know what's going on in your head? You're the only one who knows. I mean, honestly, last year, until you told me you hear everything, 35 years, I never knew you heard everything at the same level. Never knew. How could I? You know? I'm glad it's helpful for somebody else. Do you ever get art block? Um, yeah. I mean, currently I'm not, but yeah, I have gone through art block. And How the best do you thing for that it? is yeah. to... Go to a museum, go to a library, mm -hmm. uh, not a library, a gallery, look at other people's art. Other, I get inspired by other artists. Yeah. That's art galleries thing. are so fun. All right, I like botanical gardens. That's one of my favorite things. Um, have you ever drawn Cave Town? If not, you should. It has a cool reference. I have not. Um... Yeah, uh, you like my profile picture. Yes, that is our friend David. He is wonderful. Uh, it's technically, it's you. It's painted or, or drawn by. He drew friend. me. Yeah, but he, it's it's a beautiful drawing. I, I love know, it. You said that's my friend David. Who? Oh, I'm sorry. Who drew the picture? Sorry. Yeah. Um, Scott has drawn anime before. I did the covers for the Dragon Ball Z magazines. Crazy and hearted says, I was wondering if Scott had woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Get it? Horrible dad joke yeah. from this mom. <laughs> That's funny. You're so funny. Blow dryer. Oh no, wait. I have to scroll over and shut it off. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Sorry, guys. I am on. Oh, Aspen burning. I have one too. I just took my antibiotics for it. I'm so sorry. Okay, we will unmute you. And the boy Lucas says, Scott, you inspired your wife. Good job. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done. It only took you 35 years. I'm just kidding. Did you add more texture to the scales of the dragon painting? Good question. I did not. Um, I I think I'm going to paint it. I can always add more later. The reason why I think I was struggling with it is because I'm going to scan it in for everybody so they could have it as a um, coloring page. And so I wanted it to be as close to final as possible. But, I, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to make changes when I get to the painting stage. <clears throat> blow dryer. Oh, again with the blow dryer. Okay, go ahead. Um, I do remember you, Charlize. I did. I loved the shell. I have that in a very special little envelope in my desk. Crimson says, hello from Athens, Tennessee. You guys have helped me so much with adding to my art. I'm very colorblind, so adding color was a huge struggle for me. So thank you so much for your help. Oh, my pleasure, neighbor. I love that. I love it. The world needs to see everything through your eyes. I love that. Good evening from India. Good evening. Hitomi, thank you. 
<laughs> Celine says, I commented elsewhere, but it's worth saying again, you two are so sweet the way you completely support each other. Oh. <laughs> well, that's how we got through 35 years together. Yeah. Yeah. You know? It's, it's not easy. It's not easy, but you do it because you love the other person. Yeah. You know? You want the other person to succeed and to be yeah. happy. and Yeah. Yeah, you do. Um... I was telling my cousin yesterday, Aww. we were talking relationships, and <clears throat> and I was just saying how <clears throat> with <throat> when you get into a relationship, you, you have to have the same goals. Like, I want to grow old with you. So yeah. if, if those goals remain the same, you're my best friend, I want to grow old with you, then you can have arguments. You could absolutely be miserable with each other for a period of time. But at no point in time do you do you ask yourself, um, you know, should I should I leave that person? Because mm -hmm. you guys both have you you want to grow old together. You you know, mm -hmm. it's this is just a, a, a speed bump along the way, and I think that's Some, what... sometimes the speed bumps have spikes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not all wine and roses, you guys. It's not, but. And there were, there have been points in time when I haven't liked him very much, but I never stopped loving him and I never stopped wanting to fix it to get, to make things better. You know? Yeah. We didn't go into it thinking that we were going to ever get out of it though. No, I mean. We it, always went into it thinking it was forever. It's, yeah, it's a common goal is yeah. what I'm saying. It, you, you, you have to look at it as if you have a common goal. Yeah. Yeah. Blow dryer. And that you want the, to reach that common goal with that person. <clears throat> Lynn the chicken nugget, you can do your homework while you watch. That's the mom and me. Oh, Eric, I hope you feel better. Oh, Erica called off work yesterday because she had, was dizzy, oh. but she's off today and tomorrow and she's going to finish her painting. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, Erica's been doing some beautiful, beautiful stuff. You guys are so sweet. Yes, we do need to have some New Year appreciation for the mods. They are amazing. We love all of you so much and we are so grateful for you guys. There's love from Mexico. Hey, wait, is Mrs. Claus here? She is. She says, good morning, friends. Hi, Mrs. Claus. Hey, Mrs. Claus. How are you, friend? I bet you are tired. The, the holiday season is dwindling, and I bet you are tired. Blow dryer. Hold on one second. Okay, go ahead. Do you remember the first time you guys met? Oh, do I ever. Yes, I do. It's so funny to look. I, 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 it's this person says, Do you remember the first time you guys met? And I was cleaning, I, I did this big clean out of my phone a few days ago before the new year to get rid of a bunch of stuff. And I came across these pictures of us when we were dating. And it's so funny to look back and see how young we were and how like crazy stupid we were like, but just looking at those pictures, I thought, oh, <laughs> we were so much in love and we have so much pavement under our feet now. You know, we've done so much life together. We've done more life together than we have alone at this point in our life. Yeah, yeah. And it's just so weird to look back and see how young and inexperienced in everything we were, you know? And now we're just kind of like, we just, hold hands and we're like juggernaut, you know? Yeah. We're like, bring it, let's go, we got this. It's really funny. It's really, really funny. What gouache do you use? I'm using uh, Windsor & Newton gouache. Hello from Northern Ireland. You have inspired me so much. Uh, hello. <laughs> we want to go to Ireland. Wait a minute. Someone on here is named Corgi butt 13. 
Please tell me that you have a corgi because I am obsessed with corgis. Oh my God. And I know everybody put the lip and mouth tutorials in for you already. The mods did, but oh my God, Corgi Butt 13. That's the best name. You win name of the day. So cute. Um, Rennie says, my mom got into wood burning again after 16 years. And the first thing she made was a star with my name and I love her for it. Oh, oh how I cute love is that. that? I am so proud of your mom. Good for her. It is really hard to be a mom and focus on your kids. And then when it's time for you to have some time for yourself to get actually get back to being and doing what you used to like to do. Um, a lot of people just joined. Please tell them who you're painting again. I am painting Lisa Left Eye Lopez, which mm. is why I'm painting her left eye, uh, from the band TLC, who won for the 90s for the letter T. And you're using what kind of paint? I'm using Windsor and, Newton, Windsor and Newton gouache. And what kind of paper are you using? Uh, Arches hot press paper, watercolor. And, and it's like three point something inches by nine point something inches. And I'm sorry, I can't convert that. It doesn't work that way. Um, oh, Elena. Tag, um, tag us when you do post and just get better. Okay. Good question. How do you deal with art block when you can't go out and do things like go to a museum? Um, <coughs> what, what I do is um, I will do a um, like a daily challenge. Uh, for me, it, it, it'll either be like Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter, something along those lines where I will just grab a sketchbook and I will fill it up every day with a different uh, painting of one of the characters. And that way I don't have to think about what I'm gonna do. Um, I, I know when I wake up, today I'm painting a Harry Potter character. I just gotta decide mm -hmm. which one. Mm -hmm. And that really helps me because mm -hmm. um, now I don't have to think, but I'm still making art. So that's what I would recommend. Um, good evening from India. Good evening. See, um, Quinn says Scott should make a coloring book. Um, we've talked to people about it. It's just a matter of yeah. finding um, somebody who would be willing to invest into it. it, it yeah. If there was a way for me to make them myself, I would. Yeah, it's expensive to do printing, and especially the printing on the watercolor paper. It's it's not cheap, so we would have to look into that and see. Um, we were talking about it with Grabby, but it's very cost prohibitive. Um, to do something like that. So we're still talking about it. The potential's there. Hello from really snowy North Dakota. Oh, I bet it's cold up there too. Hello. I bet it's cold. I got some Cotman watercolor tubes for Christmas, but I'm scared to use them for fear of wasting them. Any advice? That's little lizard. Waste them. Yep. Waste the heck out of them. Mm -hmm. Just like be, have fun with them. You're supposed to use the paint and mm -hmm. you're supposed to use the paper you're supposed mm -hmm. to it is not a limited supply they're you constantly more. making more and if you like if your parents bought it for you if you use them all up but you can show them that you made art mm -hmm. show them the art show them the progress mm -hmm. you know make the bad art and then you <clears throat> you know by the time you know you get to the end of all of that paint you could show them that your art improved from point A to point B. Then they'll buy you some more. Mm -hmm. But you got to use the paints. Mm -hmm. That's what they're there for. Do not hoard art supplies. Mm -hmm. Or use journals, them. or pens, or papers, yeah. or anything. Use the stuff. It's there to be used. It's there to be enjoyed. And I know it's scary. Believe me, I know it's scary. Nobody gets that right now more than me. I get scary. But... Just do it. You'll be so glad you did it. Do you need, do you think you need an official education to work as a concept artist for films? No, no one um, ever asks you what school you went to. They don't. And if they do, they're not an artist and they're probably not the one doing the hiring. Um, 
you know, we hired uh, a lot of concept artists uh, for animal crackers, and mm -hmm. we never once asked them what school they went to. Mm -mm. We wanted to see a portfolio. Yep. All you got to do is just yeah. it's it's your art. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like asking Taylor Swift what school she went to before you listen to her music. Why do you care? I think people. I think it's just standard for some. Like if you're going for an accounting job. No, I wasn't job asking them why like they care. I'm just saying, oh, you know, oh, why oh, why would a person okay. in general care? Sorry, rhetorical. Um. Uh, Knock Teal says, greetings from Germany. Just wanted to say thanks for helping me get back into art and having fun with it, Scott. Your art really inspires me. Absolutely my pleasure. Yay. Hope it's a, a wonderful Christmas time or season out there in Germany. It looks like it would be so beautiful to be in Germany in the winter. Oh, the winter Christmas markets. I want to go one year for the Christmas markets. Yeah. I just... Ugh. I want to have some mulled cider and a big pretzel and I want to walk around and I want to shop and buy all the things. <sighs> when you use the blow dryer, um, have you run the paint across the page? Oh yeah, tons of times. So you many know? times. Yeah, it, it, it's gonna happen and... Um... Um, we've got highs from India, highs from Mexico City. Hello. Kermito says, that's exactly how I convinced my parents to buy me more sketchbooks and paints. I use them up. Then when they see the new developed art, they see I'm improving. Yeah. There you go. Right there. It, it's, it, look at it this way. If, um, if your parents bought you a toy and you didn't play with it, they're going to think you don't like it. And they're mm -hmm. definitely not going to buy you another one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If they buy you a car and you never drive it, they're going to think that you don't appreciate it. So speaking as a parent... Mm -hmm. If I was going to buy my kids art supplies and they never use them, mm -hmm. I would think that they didn't appreciate it, that they didn't want to make art. Yeah. So, you know, you, you have to look at it. It's a psychological warfare with your parents here. You know, you have to look <laughs> at it and say. Why don't you stop? <laughs> psychological warfare with your parents. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes, indeed, we did. We did go to lunch yesterday. And I did tell Bethany all about the new Instagram I was um, following with the little corgi tushes. Yes, we did. We had that conversation because they're so cute. And they don't have a corgi. Poor things. They just love oh. corgis. Oh. Um. <laughs> Grace says, exactly. At times I didn't like him, but never stopped loving him. I love this. I feel like I've been coughing up along the past two days. Colds feel more intense. Than ever. They do, don't they? Aw, Mrs. Claus says, yes, common goals with the people we love make life more doable and enjoyable. Yeah. Amen, sister. Um, Holy Rat says, I have been trouble... Blah, blah, blah. Let me try this again. I've been having trouble drawing. Like, I have the ideas and supplies. It's just I can't get it on paper. Seeing you draw helps me a lot, whether it's a live, a short, or a full video. Thank oh, you, Oh, that's good. Have you... <coughs> have you tried using photo reference rather than trying to draw out of your head. I mean, I'm just assuming that you're trying to draw out of your head, but um, I don't know. if I'm right, try some photo reference. And there's a video yeah. and there's reference, links mm -hmm. to references uh, mm -hmm. on, my, on my page. And try tracing. You can use one of those free tracing apps that's on the phone, you know? Yeah. Try tracing things. Good afternoon from Belgium. You really inspired me to pursue a career in art. I'm in my last year studying marketry. M-A-R-Q-U-E-T-R-Y. Thanks for everything and a happy new year a bit late. That is Celine. Oh, thank you, Celine. I don't know what that is, but I'm curious. You have to explain what that is, Celine. You I want to know. You don't have to, but could oh, you please? Oh, please. Pretty please. Sorry. Have to was yes. We, I shouldn't say have. I'm eating a donut now. Do you need some? Pfft, yeah. <laughs> Stuff it through the live, would you? Yeah. Pretty please. Um, we had some friends who were in Vienna this year for Christmas time. Who was that? It was Chuck and G. Oh, yeah, yeah. They yeah, were yeah. in Vienna. So. Um,
Visual art is so beautiful. It's incredible how a piece of art can convey an entire story. Yeah. Oh, wow. Joy Miller says, my school just got canceled due to a gas leak, and I feel like I'm in an episode of Community. <laughs> wow. You know what? Ironically, our boys' school was canceled years ago for a gas that. leak. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Crazy. I'm telling you, crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But you know what? It's great that they got you out of there. You don't want to stay there if there's a gas yeah. leak. Let Someone the school blow up without you. lactose intolerant. Scott, lactose intolerant. I don't think it's that kind of gas leak, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. The people in the chat are so helpful. I only have the five mill milliliter tubes, but it sounds like they will last me ages with how I set up my palette. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I have my, the tubes are the best. They, they last so long and yeah, I, I, I just have fun with them. It's watercolors, right? It was watercolors that they got? Um, I, 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 yeah, I don't remember. I have to go back and look. What's the best way to improve drawing? Uh, practice every day. Mm -hmm. Just draw everything you see. Don't draw out of your head. Draw everything you see. Hams Dollies says, when I watch your live streams, I listen and work on my own projects. It motivates me to work since I'm having some art block right now. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Let's see. Um, Warsh the Marsh says, Hi, Scott. I'm a huge fan. Hi. Nice to meet you. Mm, Tigu says, Hi, Scott. Been watching your content for a long time. I love painting, but can't draw well. Thank you. Well, there's drawing is something you can easily learn. It's just a little mm. bit of practice. Um... Sonic Mars says, currently in a long distance relationship that has been going for almost three years now. And I think having healthy communication and having shared goals for the future really helps. Late, yeah. Late response, LOL. <laughs> You're funny. Blow dryer. Oh, hold on. Let me unmute. Oh, go ahead. Um, oh, I want to go to Newcastle. As a matter of fact, I want to go all over the UK. I would love to do a um, trip where I visit all of the places that Jane Austen lived. Um, Dane Decor and Airy Roblox, where are you? Are you in the States? Um, I'm not asking because I'm trying to figure out, you know, how to come stalk you. I just want to know if you're, if you are outside the U.S., our recommendations for stuff would be different. Also, you can find all of the paper... And supplies that Scott uses on our resources page. Um, go ahead. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that didn't work. Um, and there's also a page of resources of stuff that Scott has tried. I want to draw Scott, but I'm worried it'll end up looking like crap and I'll have a religious burning of the bad art. <laughs> Do so it. Funny. Make some bad art. Let me tell you something. I had a journal last year that I used for therapy and I burnt it in the fireplace. So there was nothing wrong with burning things. How do you deal with art blindness? I'm not sure I, don't I know, even know what that, that, is. that term. Yeah. Can you describe that a little bit more for us? Um, does your paper bend when you dry with a blow dryer or does the type of paper decide that? Uh, the type of paper and how it's uh, glued down um, mm -hmm. will decide that. Uh, here, let me show you real quick. You can see the paper is bending. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's, it's coming up off the glue because mm -hmm. it's the last page of the sketchbook. Mm -hmm. And so, is it really? Yeah, yeah. So the twentieth. Mm -hmm. There's twenty pages. Mm. Which makes me happy because it means I didn't. You know, like I, I used all 20 pages and um, I didn't throw any away. So, I mean, I'm gonna, there's a couple I'm gonna redo, but. Um, funny. Do we have another block or do we have to go to the store? Oh no, I bought, uh, I think three blocks. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. I did not know that. Um, do you have any tips for starting an art YouTube? I'm currently procrastinating it. I know how to edit. Oh, 
come and help me edit. I'm learning more every day how to draw, but I have a fatigue disability, which makes it hard. Um, I, for me, what I had to do was, um, when I joined TikTok, uh, I'm going to move this here. When I joined TikTok, I had, I, I, I had to start make realizing that I had to start making smaller pieces because which is funny because now I'm doing the large piece like the dragon and the gothic vampires and those videos are doing very well because I'm giving updates I'm uh -huh. taking you know like a, 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 a couple days worth of work yeah. and I'm making it into a video yeah but consistency making making art every day mm -hmm. has been great for my art as well Mm -hmm. um, but also it's good for content. So mm -hmm. find something that you can do consistently, mm -hmm. whether it would be pencil <coughs> or ink or watercolor mm -hmm. or, but find mm -hmm. something that you could do consistently. But also if you want to make a go at it as far as a career, mm -hmm. think about what are you contributing to the world? Mm -hmm. Are you teaching? Are you entertaining? Mm -hmm. Are you what how do you fit in uh in this world mm -hmm. and a lot of that i mean i can't answer that for you but that is a lot of what um the questions that are that you have to ask yourself yeah. what do you want to put out into the world do you like to use brush pens for watercolor um not for watercolor, no. Um, I like to use the, my ink pens for the inking underneath the watercolor, but I like to use paintbrushes for watercolors. Mm -hmm. Wow, it is in fact really cold in North Dakota. I have not attempted to go outside because of the ice. Wow. So, um, I don't know if you can see, but there's still a lot of the, the white paper being shown underneath that, and I don't want that. So I'm just adding more layers of paint in hopes that I can get rid of so it doesn't look so transparent. I don't want it to look like watercolors. I want it to look like gouache. And so that's what you're seeing me do right here. Like all of this is still very, very light. Yeah. Um, Little Lizard says, thanks for the advice. I never really thought about it like that. I have so many supplies I don't use as much as I want to. But I think I might have some mixed media sketching sessions later today. Oh, good. Very good. Um, the time of some draw a red panda. How do you know what to do if you have never done it? Ha 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 I can answer that you one. You don't. Dive in with both feet and yeah. just try. Figure it out. Just try. Yeah. I have never used Adobe Premiere before until two days ago. And let me tell you something. First of all, it is not intuitive. And second of all, <laughs> it is very difficult to learn something new. And honestly, I'm proud of myself. You should be. I'm proud of myself that I'm doing, so I'm 54 years old and I'm trying to learn something new. I think just dive in with both feet. Um, Gamer Wessie, there is a list. Um, on the a resources page. And it's, there's two lists actually. One is all the supplies that Scott's used. One is all the supplies that he's tried. And there's videos that go along with all of that. Um, Blow dryer. Does Donna do art? Nope, Donna journals. Emma, I'm counting on that. I also want you to take me to all the good tea places. I'm Kenzilla. Start in the Art Hacks playlist. There's a ton of tips in there, and you can start there. Does Donna stream, or is she planning to? I have live streamed before, but I'm not planning on live streaming. I'm doing videos every day. That is what I'm doing right now. Unless Bethany wants to do an oil painting thing, but I think I'm kind of putting her on the spot right now. Let's see. Let me unmute you there. Oh, I second that one. Nixie is amazing at crochet. I don't get the one needle thing. Two needles make sense to me, but one needle doesn't make sense to me. When you guys were in school, were you drama kids? No. Surprisingly, I was. 
I did do drama. You did? Mm-hmm. You never told me that. Mm, yeah, well, you got to keep something for yourself, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I did. Okay. Talent, I did talent shows, and I did a couple of productions. Wasn't like Logan. I wasn't like fully like immersed, but I was on the outskirts, yeah. The people were more real. They were more um, true to themselves. But I still, when I was younger, I still always wanted to be popular. Never happened, <laughs> but I did. Um, marquetry is a woodcraft, woodworking craft that consists in creating images using different veneers as the different colors of the piece. So you have to cut each piece of veneer in exactly the right shape. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, that is really cool. Hmm. Neato. Very cool. I'm learning all these new craft things that people are doing that I've never heard of before. It's really cool. Um, what do you do when you make a mistake inking? Um, I made a couple videos about that, but uh, essentially what you're going to do is just work around it and finish the piece. And then I will usually go over once the, the piece is painted, mm -hmm. I'll go over it with gouache and I'll fix that, that spot. Okay. Um, hey Scott, I messaged you on Instagram and asked if I could redraw one of your Harry Potter drawings and repost it. Of course I would tag you. Oh, absolutely. You have my permission. Okay. Emma, you might need a bigger car. I think more than one person would like to join us for that. The left eye is so pretty. <laughs> Axolotl King says, when in art block, draw SpongeBob. That helps me LOL. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, Jamie Browns is here. Hi, Jamie. And hey, says, Jamie. random, but as a chef, sometimes I wish I had someone else to make my breakfast, especially when I don't feel well. Aww. Oh, honey. You just call me. I'll bring you some scones. I'm pretty sure art blindness is when you stare at your piece for so long that you only see the flaws and mistakes. Oh, wow. Then Scott's blind as a bat. Yeah. That's all I see. Um. How do I become confident in my art? I draw something and afterwards I get afraid of coloring it and do not go through with it. Um, I think you, you there, there comes a point in time that you have to get to with yourself where you just say, it's just a piece of paper and I can always redraw it. The other thing you can do is you can try to just uh, scan it in or trace it or whatever and then keep your drawing if that's really i know there's a lot of artists uh who they don't want to ruin their drawing and so to them i usually say then just trace it mm -hmm. onto a different page so that way you can keep your drawing <clears throat> Um, pay pro there is, there are um, plenty of tips for noses in the art hacks playlist. <laughs> the, Tori says, help. I started crying over the fact that they read out my comment. You're <laughs> silly. You typed it. I read it. You're silly. That's what Donna's there for. What I, yeah. What am I, that's what I'm supposed to do. Have you ever painted slash drawn negative feelings because you couldn't express them in any other way? Um, kind of. I did a, um, over the summer I did my first uh, <coughs> self-portrait and there was a lot of negative feelings and mm -hmm. doubts and whatnot in there. I loved that, by the way. I loved that. That was one of my favorite things that you've ever done. Thank you. Yeah, I do. I love that a lot. You're not, you have never been great about expressing that. I, however, express everything as I'm feeling them. <laughs> Just ask poor Bethany and her beautiful daughter yesterday and her friend as we're sitting at the table and I went, oh my God! And they all panicked and went, ooh! And she just sat there and she was like, oh, and the girls were like, are you okay? And Bethany goes, oh, she does this all the time. You just have to get used to it. You should just stop. Oh my God, what? These are the best tacos I've ever had. You're like, I thought someone died. No, that's <laughs> nope. That's just me. That's just me. You have to have yeah. a strong ticker. Seriously, to be you. Yeah, to this woman. yeah. You, you really see. 
you know your heart's good because I can no longer rally. It's a workout. It's <laughs> a workout every day of your life, babe. I'm keeping you alive longer. <laughs> oh, my God. Favorites are, oh, my God. Is it five o'clock already? <laughs> really? <laughs> Stop making me laugh. I got to read comments. <laughs> okay. Um, Scott does not like to redraw things. Um, so he, he typically wouldn't. Um, I think you should make more large paintings. I think I'm going to try to do four mm -hmm. of those a year. Yeah, there are a lot for you. That's my plan. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. I like doing it, but it's a yeah. lot. Um, Bethany says, I did not panic in the least. I am unfazed. You're unfazed. Those poor girls yesterday were very phased. <laughs> they didn't know what to do with me. They were like, what? What? It's kind of funny. Um, <clears throat> do you consider yourself a celebrity? Also, have you gone on a red carpet? <laughs> no, I'm in no way a celebrity. And yes, I've been on a couple red carpets. Um, you know. Uh, and everyone ignores him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love you, but you know. Just is what it is. Yeah, we've been to a couple premieres. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, friends who made movies yeah. and whatnot. But uh, yeah, photographers just look right past us because we're nobodies. Which we actually like. Yeah. I mean, surprisingly, you would think, no, why would you want that to not be? It's it's weird. The first time somebody recognized Scott out somewhere was so strange to me. That that someone would recognize him of all people. It's just it's weird. It's a weird thing. <clears throat> um, Maya says hi, Scott and Donna. I would just like to say thank you. I love watching your videos. And Scott, you were such a great artist. I'm not good at art, but you've inspired me so much. Also, Donna, you are so fun. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're so cute. We're glad you guys are here. We're thank you for joining us and putting up with us. Um, and all of the craziness that we, uh, well, I bring to the table. Let's face it. It's, I'm, I'm all the chaos, but it's fine. Um, Marv says, hello, Scott. I'm going to college next year. Can you share about your experience or any tips? Well, I went to college in 1988. So keep that in mind. Like there weren't computers. Yeah, this, this was like 40 years ago. In the schools. Um, but my experience with college was... Positive and negative. Um, mm -hmm. Positive in the fact that you know I, I really liked figure drawing and and I, I learned a lot of things. The negative part is I was undiagnosed autistic and mm -hmm. so I I just had a hard time with schoolwork and homework and mm -hmm. taking Focus. assignments and yeah stuff like mm -hmm. that. So you know these are these are things that looking back on. You know, I, I I didn't really get my money's worth, we'll say, or my mom, my parents' money's worth. You know, mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I, it, it can be good if you're somebody who likes school and who excels at school and mm -hmm. takes direction well. Um, Margaret McKinnis says hello from Maine. Hello. I hear you guys are going to be getting a big winter storm this weekend. It's supposed to hit the entire northeast. Really? Mm-hmm. Big winter storm. First big storm that they're ha that they're gonna have in like that's been like in two years. Hmm. Yeah. Really supposed to hit. Um. Salma says, "Hey Scott, it's great to see you right there. Love you. You too, Miss Donna." Oh, thank You're you. You're so cute. You're so cute. Yeah, Scott doesn't like glittery things at all. I like all the glitter pens, but he does not like glitter. I literally hate the word bling. He does. Oh my God, you're so unlike your mother. Oh God. His mom loves everything Everything has bling. to have glitter on it. It's got to have like the little sparkly jewels. She has the little phone case with all the jewels and she has, I got her um, a little coffee cup this Christmas that had all the little sparkly jewels on it and everything. Every time I see bling, I think of your mom. It cracks me <laughs> up. Scott is the complete antithesis. He just wants plain and muted and he doesn't want the bling at all. It's so funny. 
So you like painting in layers. That was a question. Oh, um, yes. Yes, I do. Alexander says, when it's windy outside, I find myself yelling blow dryer. <laughs> are, that's so funny. Oh, man. Dolan says, hi, Scott. I have been having art classes for the past few weeks, and your videos have always helped me find inspiration and learn to love my art, even the mistakes. Oh, that's great. There's a little heart emoji there. That's so cute. I don't know if green will work here, but... Let's see. Um, Rivers Doctor says, thank you. I'd like to make it so I can one, earn some money and two, feel like my art is going somewhere. I don't want it to be a career, but it's something I love to do. I want to be an actor. That's the one who's starting a YouTube channel. Oh, that's great. <clears throat> Let's see. Hi from Australia. How do you draw people? Never been able to and can't seem to get it. Could you help me? Um, yeah. Th uh, try the, there's a series, uh, there's a playlist for it too of, uh, the one minute figure drawing class or one minute figure drawing. Mm -hmm. Just try that. Mm -hmm. That should get you where you want to go. Mm -hmm. I love your figure drawing. I, you're, when you used to take the clothed figure drawing classes in school, those were always my favorite days. Cause he'd come home with this big, uh, newsprint and he would draw the most, they would have the most elaborate costumes that yeah. they would do. And you used to, you were so happy when you'd have figure drawing days. Oh, you loved those. That was your favorite class, I think. Um, okay, y'all think we're so old here. Rennie says, can you guys be my grandparents? We are old enough to be their grandparents. Are we really? Yes. I don't, I don't want to be a grandma. Can I be your crazy aunt or something? Or, you know, your adoptive mom? I don't want to be a grandma just yet. I don't feel old enough to be a grandma. Um, I like Esmeralda way more than modern cars. Yeah. You're so cute. Same. You know, it's funny. I was talking to Logan about that. We were driving somewhere and um, we were driving in my car and he's, and he had to borrow my car for a while. Um, and he was like, you know, I know you really like this car. He's like, but you know, he's like, there's just, it's too big. And he drives a really small car and whatever. And, um, and he said, but nothing beats driving in Esmeralda. And I said, you got that right. You know, it's just, it's fun. You know, it's just, yeah, it's she's good. not fun if you wear high heels and try to drive her. Been there, done that. Not fun. But, uh, yeah. I do like to take her out for drives. I do like to do that. And by take her out for drives, I mean, I like to sit in the passenger seat while Scott drives me around in Esmeralda. I'm watching you from art class right now. Oh. Slavic Mojo, do not get in trouble. Um, I'm half blind and still do art. People always say it's good, but I never believe it. So I have forms of art blindness. Oh. Um, let's see. <clears throat> All right, let's see. We want to get a little bit of highlight. You guys are funny. Yes, Donna has a lot of energy. I do not have a poker face, Bethany is correct. I think if I ever have the chance to meet you two in person, I'd introduce myself as, hi, I'm Gail from California. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we'll know you. That is exactly how we will know you. And I'll be like, Gail! <laughs> oh gosh. Do you recommend Grabby or Windsor and Newton? Windsor and Newton is, is, you know, far and away a much better brand. They've been around for ages. Mm, however, um, however, if you're just starting out and you don't want to invest in the expensive paints, the grabby set is a good way to go. Yeah. And we get nothing from that. So I'm just saying it's, they put the kit together so you guys would have a good starter kit. Yeah. So if you cannot spend the money on the expensive paints, you can have a set with everything in it. Um, it is 9.58 in the morning here. All right. I might be thinking of something else, but is Scott 63? Nope, he's 55. 55. 
Maybe he looks. No, you know what? Um, Maybe he feels sixty-three. <laughs> the uh, <clears throat> the Crayola set had like a number sixty-three or something because it was like their anniversary when they sent it, and so people thought that they had sent because it said "Happy Birthday" on it, oh. and so people I think thought that it was, you know. Gotcha. <clears throat> Let's see. Greetings from San Francisco. Hey, Hecka Cool Dad is back. Hey, how, how you, you doing? doing? Long time no see. Hello, this is Jack's mom. He said he couldn't type in the chat. Oh, hello, um, Jack's mom. Hi, Jack's mom. I hope you're good. Um, I don't know. We'll check into that. How's that? You have to give me a minute. Um, <clears throat> do you like Eminem's music? Um, I, I think I've heard one or two of his songs, but, um, Eminem is, for the most part, a little too angry for me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but. Scott's married to angry, so I don't think he needs any more angry. But, um. The songs that I've heard, you know, he's, he's definitely an incredibly talented musician. It's just like I said, it's not music I would listen to for fun. Yeah. Um, I recently did some art for the first time in a, um, in a long while, and I just wanted to thank you because your videos really helped me make something I was really content with. Oh, that's great. How do you draw fur without it looking too busy? Okay, so go to 30 Days of National Animals. And um, there's tons of animals in there that have fur, and you can check that out, and that will um, that should give you some help. Um, who would you have drawn if you hadn't let the fans decide? Uh, either Tom Petty or Toad the Wet Sprocket. Toad's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I need yeah, to Toad's awesome. I love them. If you guys have not listened to Toad the Wet Sprocket, their harmony is ridiculous. It's so good. And they are the nicest guys. So nice. Okay. Call from the UK. I just got one, too. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. If it's important, they'll leave a message. They will. Um, let's see. My father's almost your age and I'm 20. See, so not grandparent age, parent age. I'm okay with that. Um, let's see. <clears throat> um, um, Himka says, hi, Scott and Don. I'm a huge fan. And I started an art channel after being inspired by you guys. So thank you so much. Oh, that's great. I asked my art teacher to watch her live stream during class because the class starts at 8.50. Probably the best way to learn. <laughs> so funny. Just don't get in trouble. That's Yeah, all. don't make your art teacher feel bad. Yeah, either. exactly. You are so funny. Everybody's like, this painting went really quick. And it really is going quick today. I it, felt it, like it, I struggled with it a lot, you know. No. But... No, it's 10.02. This is not struggling at all. By any stretch of the imagination, this is not a struggle. We have seen you struggle. Hey, Richard's here. How hey, you doing, Richard. Richard? Your art looks like it's going like gangbusters. You're doing a great job. Leon says, for Christmas, I bought myself some fancy oil pastels and they just arrived 10 minutes ago. Oh, that's great. Well, don't ask Scott for tips because they aren't. He doesn't. Know yeah, follow them. Black Bean. <gasps> yeah, Black Christian Bean does is, amazing it, stuff. They're, they're so talented. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> we'd be glad to have you as our crazy Aunt Donna. It suits you much better. You can go with that. I can be crazy Aunt Donna. I love that. That works well. Just ask Bethany. That works well. Marguerite says being a grandma is the best. I am not ready to be that because my children are not old enough or smart enough to <laughs> have children of their own right now. Let me just put it that way. So we're not even going to go there. Um Yeah. 
<laughs> this person goes, this guy is really like me, like really. My girlfriend keeps saying what Donna says. <laughs> I've seen what happens when Scott wakes up and chooses chaos. You do not bring all the chaos. <laughs> Scott does. He can do his own chaos. He can. <laughs> Something really unusual says, me too. Everything must be plain and simple. No glitter or bling. Come on. Life needs a little glitter and a little bling. I mean, just a little. I always love using the um, sparkle pens. The pens that have the little spark. I used to have this set. We're going to go. We're Story time. So back when the boys were in middle school, they used to, you know, they used to do the book fairs, like the scholastic book fair at school. And I know all the little things they have are cheesy, like the little funky pencils and the little erasers. There was this set of pens, best sparkly pens I ever used in my life. I am still to this day, will look until my dying day to find these pens. Sparkle pens, even the yellow, I mean, and yellow is a hard sparkle pen to make work on any kind of paper. I'm just saying it is. And they had the best sparkly pens and I miss them. I might have to go to just go to a scholastic book fair. Just go, okay, I need your sparkle pens. Maybe I need to do that. Yeah. yeah, I think I might. Anyway, there's your story for the day. Um, Holly Rat says, I'm getting my hair cut really short today because self-expression and my dad is not happy about it because, well, I'm a girl. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. I don't know why. I wish I could get y'all's opinion. Um, it's hair. It's Yeah, it's hair. It'll, It'll grow, grow back. back. I always told myself when my boys were growing up, I said, you know what? If they want to shave their head or they want to grow their hair long or dye their or hair, dye their hair or, a different color, who cares? Put on nail polish yeah. or whatever it is that they want to do. Just don't get tattoos. Exactly. Don't get <laughs> tattoos. Tattoos are permanent. Exactly. You know? Like, wait, like, look, at this point, they're adults. So if they want to go get a tattoo, knock yourself out. By the way, they're both terrified of needles. They will never get a tattoo. Um, But it's like, who cares? It's hair. It's going to grow back. Let your kids have some self-expression. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You do you. Anyway, that's just my two cents in the world. I mean, I... It's just my two cents. Um, we have 325 people here right now. That's a Hello. lot of people. Um, did you do well in school? No, no. He did not do well in school. Donna did. I worked my butt off. I was not the smartest kid in the room, but I worked really, really hard in school, and I did do pretty well. Um, oh, Echo is going to go get ramen. You know, I have a question that maybe all of you guys can answer for me. I want to try ramen, but I have so many food allergies that how do I find out what they put in it? Because I can't have soy. Blow dryer. And, um, okay, go ahead. And I can't have uh, like um, celery and I can't have a lot of things and I can't have eggs. So, because I'm really allergic to eggs. So I'm just wondering how, do they list all of the ingredients in that's in ramen? And I also thought it was soy based, so I don't know. Hit me up, let me know. People, so many people on every life have been asking if you will do use charcoals. They want you to use charcoals. What what are you doing? I'm just listening to that message from the uh, person from England. Oh. They're like, hello, hello. And what are they trying to do? They did. That's all I said was hello, and then they hung up. Oh, well, they don't like us that much then. Why would you That's pay, okay. Why would you pay for that international call just to I call s know. some random person and say hello? Um, can you try making a painting with oil paints? Um, I, you know, I'll never say never. Um, maybe Bethany will uh, convince mm -hmm. me one day. <clears throat> oh, Gail, instant ramen has all the ingredients listed. But is it the same as like ramen that you can get in a place that like comes in the big bowl with, yeah, soy and eggs are typically a part of ramen. I suggest Vietnamese pho instead. Just make sure you ask before you go. Thanks, Jane says. I appreciate that. You need to ask since the broth could be an issue, the noodles as well. Oh, really? Okay. Try Korean. Sometimes they do list it. Okay. 
Uh, tell everybody who won for today again. TLC. And this is Lisa Left Eye Lopez, which is why I'm drawing her left eye. There you go. Um, what is the best book that I have ever read and what was my least favorite? Okay, I typically tend to forget books that were my least favorite. <clears throat> um, but they're my, they would be my one star ratings um, that I give. Um, my, I'm going to go with my favorite books are always going to be the Jane Austen um, novels. I did read a couple of books that were really, really great. Um, the Cartographers was really good. Um, really, really great story. And then there is another series that I read. Let me look it up really, really quick. Um, the Countess of Harley Mysteries um, were really cute um, by Diane Freeman. And that is a whole bunch of them. Oh, and then Scott bought me for my birthday, The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse by Charles McKessie. Um, phenomenal. Sweet, wonderful, phenomenal book. And I just got done reading um, Charles Dickens, um, A Christmas Carol. And, um, oh my God, okay, The Pocket Pima Children is a great book. You can read those like little one thing at a time. Um, really, really, really great. Um, yeah, really, really great. Okay, so there's some some listings. I do have some, I think I have book recs on the website too. Um, and thank you for all of the tips on ramen, you guys. I appreciate that. Stacey Hart has some great Jane Austen-based modern rom-coms. Okay, I'll have to write that down. Yeah, see, the instant ramen is different than the one you get in restaurants. Yeah. What's your favorite TV show or movie? The West Wing, Princess Bride. All right. I am, I, I'm, I'm, I am going to try to do another short today. I do have a Goodreads account. I was not in the same college as Scott. My major was uh, business marketing. Um, depends on what kind of noodles and broth are in the dish. The recommendation of pho is smart. Because if you get it to go, they can pack the components individually. Oh, Gail, that's great to know. Okay. Um, have you ever taken art inspiration from Dr. Seuss? I have not. Um, let's see. I throw away the instant ramen sauce packet and use my own broth and vegetables. It tastes better that way. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Yeah, I DNF books that I don't like to. Um, today's tea is the tuck box tea. I needed something really mellow this morning. I, we ordered um, P.F. Chang's last night and I should know better than when I have a sinus infection to order something that um, I might have an allergic reaction to. And I did, and I woke up this morning with a headache, so. There you go. Yeah. Hitomi says, I love that book and great pictures. Isn't Aren't the illustrations adorable? I love that book too. It was great. Um, do you use reference photos oh, uh, for your paintings? All the time. Can you show the reference photo today that you're using? Yeah, hold on. Um, Buzznat, this is their first live stream. Your channel has helped me not worry about making masterpieces and to just make art. Thank you for being wonderful people. Greetings from Washington State. Oh, thank you. Greetings. Can you guys see that? We can. Right. Thank you for sharing that. We sure. appreciate that. All right. I'm going to do pho. And I'm going to also write Korean ramen. I'm going to write those down so I, I know what's going on there. <clears throat> um... Let's see. Um, hey, y'all, always lovely to tune into one of these. That's Stone Basilisk. Oh, the way you. Scott layers colors is so cool to watch. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, soy. I know. Isn't it terrible? Soy is in everything. And when you haven't, it's funny. You don't realize until you are diagnosed with allergies how many things that you're allergic to are in other things like i'm pretty much don't buy anything in a box I, I really never have but i mean i used to buy some things like but even crackers like if i want a snack cracker or something you gotta look at what's on the box because 
they've got soy in them. And let's be honest. I mean, who just sits down and, and eats like three crackers? I mean, I don't care if three crackers is a serving. I want a handful of crackers. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. Um... Honey, in addition to charcoals, people really want you to try oil paints. And I just don't <laughs> think that's going to happen. <clears throat> I really don't see that happening. Neither one of us have tattoos. No. All right, let's see if we can. I'm not happy with the background Do you have colors. any comic book or fictional crushes? Comic book crushes? Mm-hmm. I know you do. You have to. You've been reading comic books for yeah, years. I mean... Oh, well, obviously Wonder Woman. Or is that just more the Linda Carter version? Yeah, it's just more the Linda Carter version. Yeah. Um, so, I, you know, I, I would say probably my own creation, which would be Nastasia. Really? Yeah. That's cute. Um, let's see. You still need that brilliant green paint, by the way. Yeah. Can you give us a tour of the Hobbit Hole? There is one! Yeah, there's a video on that. Yeah. Um, they want you to try blue for the background. Jade does things, says, Hey Scott, I just want to say you've been very helpful for my art journey. And when you say there's no technique that helps you draw, and that's just mainly practice has helped me a lot. Thanks. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Scott speaks English. That's about it. Um, I have not been to the P.O. Box since before Christmas. I will go this week for whoever asked. I've heard gouache is similar to oils. Can anyone confirm or deny? It, it is not similar to mm -hmm. oils. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, yeah. Grace says, my five-month-old nephew is allergic to dairy and my sister is an avid cheese and milk lover. She has to sacrifice her love of cheese. Um, for breastfeeding, it's crazy how much lactose is in random forms. Oh, it's gosh. when you start going through these allergy things. Yeah, it's crazy. His crush is Donna as the reference for Maid Marian. Oh my God, you're so funny. Not really, no. <laughs> no. Do you like pugs? I feel sorry for pugs because they've been bred to have their noses that way and it's very hard for them to breathe. Do you have any tips for drawing more plump women? Photo reference. That would be called uh, Rubenesque. And can I just tell you, I would have nailed that period. I would have nailed that. <laughs> Pale and curvy. Dude, I'm You're your girl. Superstar. I am your girl right there. Do you have any alternatives to Windsor Orange for skin tones? That is a great question. Um, not off the top of my head. I don't know colors that well to like say, oh, use this. Um, I, I would, if you're looking at a different brand, I would just look at colors that look similar to Windsor Orange. You know, you can, that's, that's really all it is for me is just looking at a color and saying, oh, uh, I'll try to match it visually. Um, let's see. Yeah, I hibiscus tea, I have had them do that. But the problem is, is that <laughs> there's like two things on the menu that don't have eggs. They, they take their meats and they soak their meat in an egg wash so that the sauces will stick to the meat. I don't know if anybody knew that. Um, so I can literally eat two things on the menu. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, right, so I, I cheat from time to time, and I should not have cheated while I have a sinus infection. Let's just put it that way. Um, oh, my God, the great potato. My son introduced me to Alan Walker. Can I just tell you, I love his music. He's awesome. 
Yeah, he's really good. Um, let's see. <coughs> okay, we talked about that. What's your opinion on black death and thrash metal? Um, I never understood it. Uh, I, I don't have a negative opinion of it. I, I, I think, um, like country music. I, I live in Nashville, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm surrounded by country yeah, music. Yeah, we're terrible. I don't get it. Mm -mm. It's not my thing. Mm -mm. But that doesn't mean I hate it. Mm -hmm. It just means it's not for me. Mm -hmm. And so the same thing with you know, death and thrash metal. It's not my thing, but the fact that it makes people happy, I hope it makes you guys happy. Yeah. Um, can't tell because you guys are so, sound so angry, but <laughs> I, I, I hope that if that makes you happy, Knock then that makes out. me happy. Yeah. You know, that's, that's really all it is, mm -hmm. is does this make you happy? Mm -hmm. Great. Then I'm happy for you. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that's really, you know, like I, I don't, I don't like when people put down other people's thing. You know. Well, isn't that why there's so many different things in the world? That's why there's yeah. so many different genres of books. That's why there's so many different art supplies. That's why there's so many different everything's. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's something for everyone in this world. So you get to like what you like, and I get to like what I like. Yeah. You know? No, we do not like Nashville hot chicken. It's not good when you're over 50. Let me just throw that out there. Um, yeah. I'm not a foodie. He's not a foodie. You know what? Honestly, I'm not a foodie either. And I prefer to go to like, I like the little mom and pop places. Whenever we go places, I like to find the little places that local people go that have like good food, but that it's like plain simple good food um <clears throat> yeah i'm allergic to cats and i don't have a cat i mean bethany made me adopt this cat that lives in our backyard but she's feral so she won't even let me pet her the cat yeah or bethany well bethany being feral yeah i could see that too he <laughs> love you um let's see Blow dry. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Go ahead. Um, oh, Margaret, you're very sweet. Oh, you have a pug and she's 11. I miss my, I miss my girl. I miss my Arwen so very much. Christmas was hard because she was not there under the tree moving the uh, tree skirt around. She used to like to do that. Okay. Margaret McInnes says that they voted for Tom Petty. And Donna, I saw a picture of you at the table on your site. You are very beautiful and young and look about 30 years old. <laughs> ha! That, that just made my entire day. Thank you very much. Yeah, I posted a nice picture of you from our anniversary last year. Where? On the community page. Why would you do that? Because I love you. You're so funny. Did you really? Well, now I got to know what you posted. <laughs> He's posting pictures of me, just random pictures out of the blue. What are you doing? Why would you, why would you do that? Dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> yeah, this is not the color that I was looking for. Let's try this one. <clears throat> That's a little better. Oh, you're so you're silly. Yeah, that was great. That was our uh, our anniversary last year. That was awesome. <sighs> okay, Georgia. There is a playlist for hair in the Art Hacks playlist. Um, okay, here's a video. Marguerite from British Columbia says that she begs to differ and that oils and gouache are similar in the way that they layer. Yeah, probably. 
Goonies or Lord of the Rings. That's not fair. We're kids of the 80s. Yeah. I do like... Uh, I, I can re-watch Lord of the Rings. I can't keep re-watching Goonies. That's true. Um... Mm, let's see. I made your link drawing. It was great. It was my birthday today. Oh, Happy that's birthday. great. Happy birthday. Um, let's see. How do you match colors flawlessly? I don't. Mm -mm. <laughs> my colors are all over the place. Mm. But they're my colors. You know? Um, Kaylee, um, Scott does not have any videos on setting up his palette or cleaning brushes. But Bethany does. So check out Bethany's um, channel. She's got a lot right. of great stuff there. There we go. On that. that is... Hey, Santa's here and hey, says best Santa. wishes, everyone. How are you, friend? I hope you are well rested. That is my Lisa Left Eye Lopez. I think it looks great. Thank you. Yeah, you did good today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, you know, it's, it is what it is. When you're allergic, it is what it is. And I am done with six minutes to spare. Yay! <clears throat> um, are you excited for two million? Um, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I am, I am honored and thrilled. Yes. I, I just crazy it's yeah it, it's it's mm -hmm. it wasn't like a milestone i was i was aiming mm -hmm. for or anything like that but i am definitely yeah grateful grateful yeah um Benji says thank you for being such an incredible person you've been there when i've gone through some of the toughest times of my life um you have not only raised your kids but many more online thank oh you. thank you oh, that's sweet that's very sweet um, what did you all think of the Lord of the Rings show on Amazon, if you watched it, that is? I, we did. Our friend Bear McCreary mm -hmm. uh, did, did the, the music. music for it, mm -hmm. and so we loved it. And, yeah, uh, it was I, awesome. I did a portrait of, oh, I forgot her name, but the, um, the Disa. dwarf. Disa. thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, and that was really kind of fun. I have not read Water for Elephants, but I heard it was um, a really, really good story. What type of music from this generation do you like? Uh, this generation. I the 90s like. or this generation being mm, the current generation? I don't know. Can you be a little more specific and then we'll... You guys have the best live For streams. the 90s, it's Seal, Toad the Wet Sprocket, yeah. Tom Petty. Yeah. Um, from today um, is Keen and Coldplay mm. and Stereophonics. Coldplay really is good. Are they okay? Um, this series has helped me look at the world with underlying color like greens and blow, blues for the undertones. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's it's really yeah. fun to add all those colors in there. Would you recommend the Artex acrylic markers to a beginner? It would be my first time using them. I, I, I don't make <clears throat> art with, the, with them. If you notice, I'll use them for like the outlines. I'll use them for little touches here or there, mm -hmm. but I don't really recommend the Artex as an art medium. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, like, like mm -hmm. if you just want them, then yeah, they're great. I really why, like them. Why not as a medium themselves? They're just, just they curious. don't blend. So, okay. you know, like if you, if you're like, and really they're not really made to be drawn onto paper. They're they're good on plastic and rocks and wood and okay. things like that. So more for crafting, you said then. Yeah, than, like when okay. I like when I painted the um, controller. The controller, mm -hmm. they were good for that. Mm -hmm. But they, but they're they're still very limited in what they can do. You can't blend the colors very mm -hmm. well. And so I think I remember Erica saying that she used them when she painted on rocks because she's painted on rocks before. Yeah. And I think maybe even Emma might have done them. I can't remember who else did. Um, yeah. I didn't remember that. So um, I feel completely called out here. Yuki Darling says, Donna, do you happen to have a horde of stickers? You seem like you would have one. <laughs> she has a dragon's <laughs> horde of stickers and washi tape. I have so much washi tape. And 
journals. No, I've gotten better. I sold a bunch of the journals and I actually got scared one day. I'll tell you a small story and then we're gonna, then we'll go. So I was online and I was watching Jashi Corin, who if anybody knows journal people, Jashi's like your girl, your go-to for like journaling stuff. And she has this shelf in her workspace. And I swear to you, it's probably six feet long. And she takes her notebooks that she has accumulated and she puts them, and Steph Nerd can, can second me on this. She puts them in a rainbow of colors. Like she does the rainbow of, she must have a hundred blank journals that she could pick from that she has in her stash. Wow. And I got scared and I went, I could never use that many journals in a lifetime. And I thought, okay, we need to like settle down here and not buy that many journals anymore. So I have slowed my roll a little bit on the journals that I acquire. Um, I still buy them and gift them to people because it makes me happy to do that. But um, yeah, and I do use my stickers. I don't just let them sit there and I do use my washi tape. I don't just let it sit there. Um, but yeah, wow, it's, it's crazy. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna keep doodling here. So Are you gonna, gonna doodle? No, um, there's a buy, sell, trade for journals on um, Facebook. <laughs> it's definite. I could never do that because I don't have the space. I just can't even imagine having like a hundred journals just sitting there. It's crazy. Oh, and I'm doing a giveaway, a journal giveaway. So you got to go to my channel and you got to find it. Ha 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 ha. Jesse says, oh, I'm a terrible sticker hoarder. You know what? Don't hoard them. Okay, here's... I read something, it was a quote or something. Don't save the good stuff for a special occasion because every single day that you have breath in your lungs is a special occasion. And you know what? It is so true. Burn the good candles, use the stickers, use the pens and the journals and the whatever. Um, yeah, just do it. All right. Um, does Scott have an art journal? I have my travel journal. Mm -hmm. which is this. So, hey, are you starting a new one for 2024 or I are you finishing know. that one? I don't know. I mean, I'm only barely, I never finished the, our trip to uh, Florida. Oh my and gosh, so, you didn't? Yeah, and so there's still like half the book left. So I, th I think my travel journal thing is just gonna kind of wind like I had hoped to do one a year yeah this one's from November of 2022 so we it's over not, a year old yeah but we, yeah, didn't, we didn't travel, travel that a lot. much yeah. we did a lot of the zoo if it wasn't for the zoo it would only be like 14 pages you know? yeah 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 um okay so <clears throat> I'm gonna try to post a new video today um we're this is the letter T We've got U, V, W, X, Y, Z. We got six letters left, you guys, in the 1990s alphabet. Oh, Scott didn't say pencil sharpener last time he used a pencil oh, sharpener. Sorry. You gotta do that. Um, so there you go, guys. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, a wonderful Wednesday. And we will see you on Friday for the letter yeah. U. Yes. To you, yeah. Yep, for the letter U. Which is most so, likely either going to be UB40 or mm -hmm. U2. Santa says, I spotted a festive nutcracker in the travel journal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course he did. Yeah, <laughs> it was so cute. Oh, you actually really loved that. It was adorable. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah. It was, all, like, it was pink. Like that. Yeah. It was it was a pink nutcracker. It was in a children's yeah. store with all these candies and everything on it. It was really adorable. Um, all right, guys. Um, we will see you later. I crossing my fingers. I will be able to um, find a quote and do a quote today. And um, yeah, six letters already. I know, right? Isn't that insane? We just feel like we just started this, and here we are, like six letters left to the end of the thinking alphabet it's crazy um um okay um bethany's gonna put in the link to vote and a thingy says i just bought a new sketchbook and it doesn't say anything that it's watercolor paper it just says acid free and cold press paper is that watercolor paper 
it, it's hard for me to tell. Um, how many GSM is it? Yeah. So if it's at least 180 GSM, mm -hmm. you'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and we will see you guys on Friday. Bye. I hope your tea is strong today, friends. Bye, everybody.